Hello and welcome to uh, CMT uh, Stuttgart. This is the, I think it's the second largest motorhome camper van trade fair, well, in Europe anyway, it might be in the world for all I know. And uh, what we've got here is a, uh, in this hall I'm showing you right now, some camper vans. And uh, there are, despite uh, the uh, current situation with on the market which is makes it more difficult to sell there are it seems to me anyway there are more manufacturers here than I have seen ever before which is uh, I think uh, somewhat odd in the circumstances um, so what I'm going to do here is I'll just take you on a little bit of a walk until I get to my destination and the point of this is just to give an idea about what what's available as you can see the uh, uh, the holes aren't open to the public but there's plenty of people inside here cleaning things up and uh, doing what uh, they <laughs> have to do before public actually gets in now I did want to actually show this thing here but I'm not going to put off the person who's actually doing but I'll do that in a different video this this I think is a it looks as though, to a certain extent, if it's a homemade van, but it's been built in a way like uh, many expedition vehicles are, with the sliding bed going over a table which is just below the bed. Uh, anyway, we'll see that in another in another uh, um, video. Uh, here we have a um, also interesting uh, look. So they've got the Mercedes here car because that's what it is at the end of the day uh, but what they've done is they've first time I've seen this on a Mercedes like this uh, use the back to make the kitchen here with the uh, fridge over there and there's your sitting area uh, this will uh, convert into a bed so it's something which will actually sleep for people and if I stick this round the corner here as well you see a similar thing and this is on a VW. And uh, let's have a look up here as well. Now, the, uh, many people start off with uh, camper vans and then move on to uh, other things. So, I mean, um, this is how I started off. I had a v, uh, VW uh, camper van, which was on a Cartago base, and then I moved up when I wanted a bit more luxury, uh, moved up onto uh, motorhomes. And the thing is that when I started though, I mean, my VW it only had cold water in it uh, and uh, so there was a time I decided I, I wanted a hot, or at least to wash my things in the hot water didn't have a shower at all and um, so that's how I uh, sort of developed into what I was doing um, I am obviously well, I think obviously <laughs> too young to have been in one of these characters here I don't know what yeah this thing something like this is from probably looking at around well, I don't know, 1970 at the latest I would I, I would have thought I mean that apparently they're dreadfully difficult to drive with the gear changes I don't know myself I've never tried one I'm just repeating what other people have actually told me so uh, also got some equipment as well as you can see here for uh, the, um, camping and lots of lots of tents and the like as well you know it occurred to me that if you have a tent though like this this size here that's going to take a lot of uh, carrying i mean we use on the campsite where i'm sort of based on them uh i do live in my van but i'm the place where i am based at we've got big tent there but we use that for our own um uh, events and things of that nature or if we're having somebody making a speech or something during uh an event and we also use it for storage as well storage of stuff that isn't all that important uh, so 
Uh, good. Um, I want to show you some features uh, from here as well. This is this company here has got an interesting thing. Lots of people ask me about um, motorbikes, and here they come up with a solution for putting a motorbike in a temporary fixed location. And I'll, I'll do that in a, a different video to actually show you. Uh, here we have something which I will, I will point out perhaps this earlier. But okay, there's a way of making a bed in the van using bed, okay, using this type of structure, uh, the uh, uh, what you call mattress type things, and a bed from a structure uh, like this. These structures like this will fold up very small. Having said that, I am really keen on the idea instead of using something like that to use a, a run, this is just like a mattress top in a case like this, uh, is to use a pneumatic solution, a, a, an airbed. Uh, I have an airbed, I took the mattress out of the one that dropped down in my own vehicle, got an airbed instead, it folds up really small, it's super light and it, uh, it's very easy to actually use. Right, so I wanted to show this thing here, but whilst there's some here in there, we're not, we're not getting in. Let's have a look here at some of these Rymo vans. Now, Rymo's a catalogue everybody uses, and they have some, I don't know, I think I'd call these concept vehicles, in a way, because they are, they are rather unusual, but uh, uh, something like this with, uh, you know, the chair, the, chair, the, the forward-facing benches, has been put down to create a bed, a bench that goes this way, which converts into a bed, and a caddy, which is a, it's what's about 435 centimeters, something like that, I can't quite remember the word. It's a very tiny uh, camper. Okay, it's a car camper. It's for me to qualify to be a camper van, it's got to be self-contained. It's got to have a uh, toilet inside. Of course, you know, now, now you get these toilets, which are really, uh, really tiny. There you go, there's a sort of a VW uh, camper van from Raymond. and this VW camper van is on a Mercedes, but that's a uh, very elegant uh, look inside. Uh, and here we have Space Camper, which is a modular uh, attempt to uh, create um, space using the, the VW platform. And, oh, we can't see in there. Let's have a look here. Yeah, this, this one here won first prize in the category, or first place, it says, in the category for camper vans in a rise mobile, auto build riser mobile. And, And what you can do with this, you take your bits out and then you put, put them back in. This idea of a um, the modular approach is uh, increasingly popular. Now here's an unusual way of doing things. Sort of an executive car, Exec executive camper. Quite know what this is meant to be, though. It's, a, it's not really insulated. Uh, one a feature here is the pull-out camping units. Lots and lots of companies now doing them, and uh, what this can offer is these sinks, for example. So they they will actually close flat. Uh, we've got their uh, fridge. This is this is possibly one of the most unusual ones I've seen. Um, normally they come out. The fridge is sort of in that direction. Uh, this one, I've never seen one like this before. So they, there's, there's where you keep your beer. And if I come over here, I think this is another beer one. There you go. That's uh, that's the empty bottles going there. All right. Um, let's have a look at over here, Compania. 
Slovenian company. Uh, right, two burners here. I mean, obviously, it depends on your style, what you what you really fancy. Prices, there isn't all that much difference between them, to be quite honest. I mean, I'll give 20, 25%. Well, I mean, that is a lot of money. But <laughs> uh, here you've got your fridge down there. Pull out bit at the back. I've got a different one in love with this. So there you have it. A quick look around uh, some of the camper vans. This is hall eight. There are here 10 holes, although there's no uh, vehicles in three of them because that's just entirely two. So, like seven, six, seven holes of <coughs> motorhomes and the like. It's a, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a very friendly fair, this, unlike Dusseldorf, where there uh, seems to be constantly problems. And uh, here, it's, it's really nice to come here. Uh, having said, in Dusseldorf in recent years, it hasn't been as problematical uh, as it. Uh, as it, as it once was, like six or seven, eight years ago. But, but, um, uh, the problem here is the weather. It's freezing here. I mean, like minus eight uh, degrees. Uh, I think today it's going to get to plus one. It's, uh, it's in January in Stuttgart. It's not the best time to be here. So that, that's the big advantage of Dusseldorf, is you've got this a big uh, area where there is a um, uh, campsite and you've got this fantastic atmosphere on the campsite which is which, which can't be repeated here because of the temperature anyway i've given you a quick walk around here thanks so much for watching hope you found it interesting all the best from me in stuttgart bye for now